What's up y'all, my name is Kenneth, and we're back with another cooking adventure today. What are we doing? We are smoking salmon. I'm joking, we're not smoking salmon, we're smoking tuna. I gotta get my fish straight. Alright, I got some fish steak, or tuna steaks. What I'm using is... Everglades cactus rub. Or cactus dust. Some Himalayan pink salt some brown sugar, and just a little bit of the black pepper. On this here, I have fennel seed, coriander, thyme, and dill. The aroma from that is going to come up through this little pan that I'm going to put the fish on. I'll show you the little setup. I'm going to have steaks sitting on this. As the fish smokes, as the heat touches the seasoning down there, the aroma is just going to come straight through and go straight through the fish there. That is the theory that is supposed to work. We're going to give it a try. This recipe is, of course, my recipe. I come up with my own stuff right off the top of my head. Let's give it a try. All right. I'm over here trying to make a goddamn video, and my wife's over here laughing her ass off at me. Any which way, I don't come up with a concoction. It's light brown sugar, uh, cactus dust from Everglades rubs, uh, Himalayan pink salt, and just a little bit of cracked black pepper. Oh, and the aroma. It smells amazing. That's going to go on this tuna, huh? Got my rub made. Look, look how beautiful it is. Oh, yeah. Mmm. We're gonna smoke this tuna, y'all. Here we go. I'm gonna show you how to season your fish. You wanna spank it like that, like it was naughty. <laughs> You're gonna take a good handful of that rub. I mean, you can throw this in, in a gallon bag, throw the rub in there, and just shake it about. I don't like doing that way. You can do it other ways too, but this is the way I like it. I like getting on, getting hands, hands on. I like my hands on the meat. And then, bam, it looks like that. That's what it looks like. It's nice and coated. I mean, you could lay it down if you want to. But I like getting hands on. I like making sure it's rubbed in. I got a little left over on my hand so I don't have to grab so much. Bam. I rub it in good. I don't I want that flavor in the meat. I want it in every crevice. Boy, you need to quiet down. Hey, inside voice. There you go. That's how you do what you do. I ain't giving no parenting advices. But yeah, it's all looking good. It smells good. This tuna I got a couple days. It was from Publix. It's all been responsibly harvested and whatever. Ooh, I'm running out. I just made enough. I just made enough seasoning rub to rub it all down. And whatever gets down there at the bottom. That's just more aroma coming up through the holes to, to make your fish taste real good. Alright. I got them throwed on there now. I got my grill set to... I don't know if you can see that. It's flashing. I got my grill set to 220. That's a Camp Shelf Pro DXL. I've been using that thing for a good year or so. Told my wife I want a smoker and she got me a pellet smoker. I am good with it. It does what it does. It does what I need it to do. I got it set to 220. Occasionally I'll come out and check on it and make sure it's still doing its thing. But I'm going to leave it on there for a good couple hours. Oh yeah. Alright. I got my spatula as y'all see. I got to switch hands. I'm going to go ahead and give this one flip. I'm not going to need to smoke this for hours 
just long enough as it before you get to cooking. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. All right, Bubba, give me a second, buddy. It's coming around really good. It smells really good. Yeah, it don't take that long to smoke these little fish. And they smell really good. What we're going to end up doing with that uh, tuna. I don't know if I said salmon again, but what we're going to end up doing with that tuna is we're going to uh, have a couple pieces for dinner tonight. And then the rest of it, I'm turning into smoked tuna salad. With some homemade relish. Y'all stay tuned for that. This is going to turn out real good, I guarantee. Alright, alright. This fish is done. It is done. It is done. It's temping out 145. Yes, sir. It is bright, so I can't look at the cam camera. I'm going to go ahead and pull this fish off. I'm going to let it cool down for a moment. Mmm. We'll go ahead and turn my grill off. I'm hungry. I'll check again. Look at that. That is nice. Nice, nice smoked tuna. Mm. I'm gonna make this into. Uh, of course, the boy don't shut the door. But a couple of those are gonna turn out to be tuna fish salad. Smoked tuna fish salad with homemade relish, some mayonnaise. I'll show you all how to do it. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off, and I'm gonna serve it up. All right. My well, my wife said, "Stop eating uh, your ingredients." The kids come in here, and they were like, "I want one. And I want one." Till I, till they realized I was eating fresh vegetables. They're like, "Never mind." Let me show you what I'm doing with these. This is a Taki. One more time. Shibuki. Shibuki. I can't get it right, but I like it. Shibuki. It's a Shibuki pot. You could use it for ramen. You could use it for steaming things. You could use it for a lot. I use it for steaming. I like using it for steaming. It does really good. Um, I am doing snap peas and carrots I'll show you how far I got the water filled up just about right there at the max just under the max it's really simple to use you just put this lid on top of it go over here hit this knob if I can turn it and then that's it that's really it well, with that little thing, it take about 15, maybe less than 15 minutes to steam those vegetables to the perfect uh, texture, the perfect crunch. If you go over 15 minutes, you're going to have them soggy vegetables and you ain't got no, ve no minerals, no vitamins, no nothing left after you overcook your vegetables. And then after that, I'm going to use it to finish these potatoes off. Those are leftover potatoes from last night's curry and uh, ramen spicy curry. I'm going to make mashed potatoes out of those. Stay tuned. Alright, so what you really want to do is you just kind of want to go in there and just break it up real good. Just break it up real good. It's coming apart really good. How many times can I say really good in one sentence? I don't know. Really good. You just break it up real good. I can't stop. I got myself started. Break it up. Just break it up. We tried some of it already. Just the tuna fish. And it's amazing. It smells good. I'm going to go ahead and add some ingredients. This right here is my wife's homemade or my wife's grandmother's homemade uh, pickle relish. And we're just going to not add all of it, apparently. We're yeah. just going to add all of it. Bam. 
It did not come out the way it should have come out. We're gonna add all of it. So we're gonna need a rubber spatula. Got me a rubber spatula. We don't waste nothing. If we can get if we can't get it with a rubber spatula, then we'll figure it out. This stuff is better than the store bot. This is better than anything I've ever had. This stuff right here made me a believer in pickle pickle roast. That's good right there. Now we're gonna add go in with a bunch of mayonnaise. This is how simple this is. I'm about to use something, y'all probably be like, what the heck is that? Or those who like Chinese food or Asian food in general, my arms are the way. Like I said, we don't waste nothing. This is a good way to get rid of your dang mayonnaise when you have just a little bit left. You want to scrape it in there. Mommy! I can't take... Boy, give us a second, all right? It's just a video game. You ain't got to worry about it. Man, that's, that's clean. And we're going to add a little bit of yum yum sauce. This is Japanese steak sauce almost. It's really good. And we're just gonna go in there and just start mixing around. We're gonna continue the shredding part. And we're just gonna mix it around, mix it around, make a little mess. Clean up your mess. I will. Just mix it around. Shred it apart. And that's it. That is homemade tuna salad. I mean, there's other recipes that you add more ingredients and more than just two or three things. Some people, some recipes say salt and pepper. Well, this was already seasoned while it was smoking on the grill. They don't need any more salt and pepper. Give that a bit. Break that up. All right. Get a good fork for you. Get a that's what it looks like right there. Let's try it. I'm going to try it. Ready? Now, mind y'all. Mind y'all, I don't eat a lot of tuna fish. I don't eat a lot of fish. Tuna fish salad would be included. But this is my channel. I made it. Y'all want to see me make eat it? I'm going to try it. Oh, my God. I'm not even joking. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. That's totally tasty. I've never had anything bad with yum yum sauce. I use yum yum sauce for a lot of things. My hands are dirty. I'll clean it. That's actually really tasty. I am I give you one hundred percent reactions that are real. I like that. I like that a lot. In fact, my kids can't have it. My wife can't have it. That's mine now. That's all I got. We're done. All right, so here's my vegetables. They're perfectly steamed. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one. They got the nice crunch. They're not overly done. I seasoned them with butter and salt and pepper. That's it. That's all you really need. Yum. I got my I got my taters going on. I mean it ain't much in there. It probably feed a couple people. But I'm using up ingredients that need to get up, get going. This is gonna be my mashed potatoes. My vegetables are done. Mashed potatoes ain't gonna take that long either. Give it about ten minutes. All right, in this bowl right here, we got our perfectly steamed potatoes, our sour cream, our butter, our salt and pepper, and just a little bit of Everglades 
all-purpose seasoning. Now, when it comes to uh, mashed potatoes, not a lot of people like sour cream in their mashed potatoes. Not a lot of people like butter in their mashed potatoes. I like both. A lot of people like to use a hand mixer and whip them mashed potatoes up. Or they like doing the mashing. I like doing both. You'll see me do two different, three different ways of doing mashed potatoes. But here's how we do, how I'm going to do it tonight. Mash. 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 Get that little turn. But I, I would do a turn, but look. <laughs> but I'm mashing. It's doing good. It tastes good. I taste a little potato when it came out. Nice and soft. We gonna do this. That's my dinner. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you like this video, hit like, comment, share if you want to, subscribe if you want to. Y'all have a good night. Stay blessed. Goodbye. By the way, that's what your potatoes are supposed to look like. Nice and buttery. Nice and creamy. I figured I'd show y'all that. I had a little spoonful. Don't tell my wife. She gets on to me for sampling my products all the time. <laughs> that boy right there is good as heck. Good night.